Hi, I'm Kristen. I am a career and leadership coach for Amala Vida. I live in the Chicagoland area and I have two rather crazy young daughters. What I love the most about coaching is I love being a thought partner um, who can um, really help and guide and support somebody towards fulfilling their career goals. This is not easy, but I've been through it myself. So I know what it's like. And I, you know, want to be somebody who can help support um, you in getting unstuck and finding that next career step. I have had actually um, a pretty diverse background and I've made um, several career transitions myself. I started off um, in a retail setting. I worked for Nordstrom for many years um, and I even worked in manager and corporate roles. And uh, initially I thought I was going to be in merchandising, but over time I realized that I really loved the people aspect. I really loved connecting with people and building those relationships and, um, you know, even, you know, helping people grow and develop. That's what led me to, um, you know, my career transition into HR. And over the course of my HR career, I um, worked in roles where I not only help support individuals, but organizations um, achieve their, their people and their, their talent goals. And that was awesome. I learned so much. Um, but again, over time, I kind of started to want something different. And I realized that it was really these one-on-one -on -one interactions with people that were um, so motivating and fulfilling to me. And that's, you know, what brought me to coaching. Because um, now I feel like, you know, when I'm able to interact with people like you and help them, um, you know, work towards their career goals and, you know, grow and develop, that that is what is really fulfilling to me. And I feel like, you know, based on the experience that I have, I'm able to really add value in that way. I am, I would say the primary caregiver giver in terms of parting those kids around to school and all the grocery shopping and all the errands and all the other, you know, mental load that comes with it. So, you know, I think that that's worth talking about because I'm able to still work and do all of those things and not go crazy, <laughs> right? I actually have somehow achieved like a balance and I never thought that was possible. I know that sounds cheesy, but for, you know, other parents out there who kind of struggle with this, I think, you know, it, it can, it can happen. I'm like, I love coffee. We have a local coffee shop. I walk to the coffee shop. There's like a trail by my house. So I do lots of walking. If I didn't just have surgery, I would be running. <laughs> I'm, current, I'm usually a runner. I usually am very, have a very active li lifestyle. So whether it is, you know, that I'm with my kids riding bikes, running after them, <laughs> or, you know, actually doing something fitness related. I've always, you know, really been active. I like to read novels, mostly um, like lighthearted beach reads. <laughs> Lately after COVID, I'm all about like a lighthearted, you know, pastimes and hobbies instead of anything too heavy.